Well, Simon, it was a, a tough result on Saturday for the team. I, I suppose it's always difficult to analyse a game immediately afterwards, but what's been the, the breakdown and the, the takeaway of that game since then? Um, key moments. We uh, Obviously, listen, we were really, really disappointed with the you know the outcome of the game last week. Um, I thought we had a you know we had a decent first half. I thought we've obviously hit the hit the post, hit the crossbar. We've done okay, um, and the goal sort of rocked us just before half time, and we didn't we didn't recover well enough from that. So yeah, it was um, it was again a, a case of you know analysing, breaking it down, understanding their moments, and um, you know and, and I think really it was it was clear in the end that. You know, if you don't if you don't take your chances or your moments or that rubber to green, whatever it is, don't go for you and it you go a goal down the other end, it can be a difficult day and in the end it turned out a difficult day. I mean, you said so yourself there, when you do look at it, the first half performance was actually quite good. We've we've hit the woodwork twice, Halifax have scored with the one shot that they had in the in the entire first half. Is it important when confidence is maybe a little bit low to to accentuate those those positives and focus on them? Yeah, I think you've got you've got to find the balance. You know, of course, um, the conceding three goals is not um, is not ever part of the plan, obviously. Um, but I think you know, in these games, it's it's important that you know we're we're calm and we're professional, and um, you know, everyone everyone wants these results to come. You know, everyone's working as hard as they possibly can to turn turn the corner. And we are, you know, we are having a a, a little period where I think. It's inevitable that levels of confidence can be influenced and affected um, by results. So I think it's important that we stay cool and calm and make sure we're, you know, reviewing the games objectively, um, you know, and not and not being too knee-jerk in our emotional opinions about the games. And um, look, we are, we have had enough of that first half to get in front. And you know, I think that's important that we have to find that balance. Don't get me wrong. You know, no one's saying it's acceptable that we're. We've conceded the the goals and the fashion we've conceded them in. You know, they're particularly the, the first one's a real a real blow for us, and it changes the half-time team talk, and it changes the feelings for the players coming out to the second half. And then, you know, we didn't we didn't defend well enough in key moments, and we get, we get punished. You know, the league is a punishing league. It's competitive. There's there's decent attacking players at a lot of clubs, and you know, if you don't get them key moments right on the pitch, you know, you can be punished, and we were punished. I mean, obviously we're not at that level yet where we want to be, but I suppose it's easy to forget that we are only seven games in as well. I mean, we've seen teams before start slow and, and go on to win the league. Barrow County themselves have done it in the mm. past. And we've also teams, seen teams start well and fall away. So how, how important is it to, to contextualise that? And, yeah. And yeah. yeah, it's really important. Look, we've had a, we have had a tough start. You know, there's, there's no doubt about that. And we, you know, we have had a couple of games where I feel we should have got some more points on the board. And we've had some games where um, we were well worthy of our points, and equally we've had the games we've lost. You know we deserve to lose, so you know no one's sort of hiding behind anything here. But there is the balance to be had. You know we are eleventh in the league. You know we're not we're not um, drastically down the table as it stands. So we're not far away from a couple of positive, strong results um, during an adverse period, during the players we're missing of of getting us right back up there. So. You know, we've got. A, there's also a lot of good, and it's making sure that we don't ignore the good. The first half was very good last Saturday. You know, not brilliant, but you know, good, solid, strong, created moments. Um, so you're right. We've got to have that balance, and and this is um, this is not a terminal situation. And um, if we if we stay strong during this tough period, and we stay focused. And we we don't uh, apply drama to our work or ego to our work. We just work. You know, we'll get through it. We'll come out the other side, and um, we'll all be stronger for it. And I believe that firmly. And I suppose you only really need to look at the, the back end of last season to know what this team is capable of at its mm. best. And what needs to be addressed, in your opinion, to, to rediscover that form, or, or is it just about retaining the belief in what you're doing? Yeah, it's a it's a mixture of a few things. You know, I think um, you're right. You know, we don't go from being having the amount of clean sheets we've had last year to and, and the chances and the goals and the 18 game on being run and you know although we fell short and then you don't go from doing all of them great things to them being just awful you know it's it's that we've got to have that middle ground we've got to have that perspective we need you know people to be open minded about the situation we've got to win it's a results business that's a show business element of football um, and we're aware of that but equally that um that blend of you know we we need to strengthen at the right time in the right way you know i think we're short at the minute 
I think there are areas of the pitch through injury and misfortune that no one could have predicted really. Um, it has left us, you know, trying to find a different way at times, trying to adapt to that. Um, no different to last year. We, we had that period of adapting when we unfortunately lost Connor, when we lost Kitch. And it took us a few games to find a different way. And then all of a sudden, a 5-0 win at Solly Hole and we got an 18-game unbeaten run. So I think we are in a sim we find ourselves in a similar period at the minute where, you know, for me, we've just got to knuckle down. We've got to get working. We've got to stick together. We've got to coach. We've got to analyse. Uh, and we also need that bit of, bit of help. And that might be the transfer market, maybe. Um, you know, that's something, of course, that we need to think about and look at to make sure we've got what we need. And we just simply need to knuckle down and work hard, you know. And my experience of football, that if we do that, your quality comes through. Your luck eventually turns. Your moments start turning in your favour and not against. And it's as simple as that, you know. It's as simple as that for me. And that's what we're doing at the minute. Yeah, and I mean, it's probably fair to say that for a number of reasons, really, you've not really had the chance yet to put out what some would feel would be your strongest 11 most because of injury. How close are we to that becoming a reality now with players like Scott Quigley, Sam Minahan, Jordan Keane returning? Yeah, I think as well, it's not just, you know, it's not just the 11, it's the, you know, we're, we're our club with ambition, it's making sure we've got the, the right balance and the right depth for the right times, you know, so, um, you know, it's definitely a thing at the minute that we need to make sure that we are, we're on top of that and we're, we're driving forwards. Um, and yeah, you're right to say that, you know, whether, whether it's my strongest team, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that the lads that are in there grafting away, you know, it's, it would be unfair for me to sit here and, and hide behind anything or say it's not my strongest team. It's, you know, they're, they're the easy things for me to chuck in. You know, what I would say is it's certainly hampered our depth. It's certainly hampered the ability to influence the game from the bench in the way in which, you know, we probably would if we did have the likes of, you know, your Kinos, your Sam Minions, your Scott Quigley's, you know, it's... Um, so these things are certainly factors and I think it's right that people don't ignore the factors and I think, um, you know, but what we can't do as a group of players and professionals is find a way to, you know, use them as excuses. We've got to be positive, not negative. You know, we've, um, we've got to really find, find all of the ways and the means now to, to come out on the other side and, you know, what a great game to start with on Saturday. Yeah, looking at Wrexham, a lot of investment over the summer, a lot of expectation going yep. into the season, not unlike ourselves. Uh, it's another big test against Phil Parkinson's side, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, I mean, um, the fixture is, um, in terms of the level of game, speaks for itself. Um, but there's, you know, there's a lot of good teams in this division now, a lot of big, big clubs with good histories, with strong investment, who are you know, desperate to get back into the Football League. So this is one of you know, many challenging games, uh, exciting games, you know, that's important to say. And uh, yeah, we know, we know what it's going to be, we know what the challenge represents and, um, you know, we're, we're ready to stand up to it. I think in so many ways, County against Wrexham, it always feels like a football league game already. Big clubs, big fan bases, it's a big game, but if you do go and get those three points, it can also prove to be a, a big turning point, can't it? Yeah, it can, you know, and three points in um, September is the same as three points in April or May. And that's our outlook. So, um, yeah, great, great to view it as an opportunity to be a catalyst for us to, you know, spin it, spin things in a positive direction. Um, for me, the professional in me is going to say it's the next game and it's the one we've got to win. You know, and um, you're right, two big clubs, you know, good histories, um, good fan bases, both, you know, working as hard as they can as as football clubs to to get back and earn the right to be back in the Football League and you know all of them ingredients hopefully make for a great game and a great day which um, of course I'm going to want in our favour. And there is going to be a bigger way following Wrexham, they sold out their allocation very quickly so how important a role do, do our fans have to play this weekend? Yeah look I think um, I thought, you know, again touching on the support last week at Halifax I thought it was outstanding, you know it was outstanding and um, we're going to need it again, you know players are going to need it, these, these games you know, they, they come thick and fast at times and, and the players' energy on these type of days, you know, are important that are maintained throughout the game, you know, so, and the, the fans absolutely play a part in that. And so, yeah, we're going to need them right behind us again from the go all the way to the end. And, um, you know, we've all got to really pull together and make sure as a group of staff that, and the players, we're, we're, we're rolling our sleeves up and making sure that, you know, our work rate and our endeavour, and of course, you know, we're always going to have to have that bit of professionalism defending and when you're running you've got to do it at the right times in the right way you know and, and when you when you are in that place um, 
we 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 know we've got to give them something to get behind, and um, and that's certainly our ambitions. And we'll we'll be doing everything we can to do that on Saturday. And if we do, I know they'll be behind us. Simon, thanks for your time. Good luck at the weekend. Brilliant. Cheers.